murderer is condemned to death. He has to choose between three rooms. The first is full of raging fires. The second is full of assassins with loaded guns. And the third is full of lions that have not eaten in three years. Which room is safest for him? I'll tell you at the end of this episode. Good morning. It's Sunday, February 6th, 2022, and this is Cafe Devo coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church at the point of Saginaw and Washtenaw here in beautiful downtown Durand, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood hanging out here as usual with my pal Bugsy, and I hope your Sunday is off to a good start. Hey, before we get started this morning, we want to send out birthday greetings to one of the men of our congregation who is celebrating a birthday today. Hey, Brandon Stull, it's your birthday, and all of us want to say to you, happy birthday, buddy. Hope your day is a great one. All together now, happy Happy birthday. birthday. (laughs) We're continuing to read this morning from the book, Truth for Life. It was written by Alistair Begg. Copyright 2021, Good Book Publishing. Luke chapter 11, verse 4. Forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone who is indebted to us. At a quick glance, this request may sound like a quid pro quo, that our forgiveness of others somehow earns us the right to be forgiven. If we allow the scriptures to speak for themselves, however, we will recognize that the opposite is in fact true. God forgives only the penitent, those who feel godly sorrow and repent of their sins. And what is one of the chief evidences of being penitent? A forgiving spirit. In other words, when we forgive one another, we do not earn forgiveness. We show that we have already been transformed by God's forgiving grace. Jesus taught us that it is inconceivable that we who have been forgiven so much should refuse to forgive the debts of others against us, Matthew chapter 18. Yet we're still tempted to hold grudges, to stay angry, to forgive but not to forget. D.L. Moody is said to have compared that idea to somebody who buries the hatchet but leaves the handle sticking out. An unforgiving spirit is perhaps the greatest killer of genuine spiritual life. We shouldn't claim to be seeking God if we are actively harboring enmity in our hearts against our brothers and sisters. It will extinguish the flame of Christian joy and make it nearly impossible to benefit from the Bible's teaching. It's no surprise then that Jesus essentially says, What I'm saying about a forgiving spirit is a fundamental element of a believing prayer. Check your life for it. Are you bearing a grudge or replaying someone's wronging of you in your mind? Is there someone you have failed to forgive? Reflect on the forgiveness you have received and ask God to teach and enable you to forgive. For in your forgiveness of sins of others against you, You reveal that you understand his grace and have been truly forgiven by him. How can you pardon, reach, and bless the unforgiving heart? What broods on wrongs and will not let old bitterness depart? How can you pardon, reach, and bless the unforgiving heart that broods on wrongs and will not let old bitterness depart? In blazing light, your cross reveals the truth we dimly knew. How small the debts men owe to us. How great our debt to you. Lord, cleanse the depths within our souls and bid resentment cease. Then reconciled to God and man, our lives will spread your peace. For further reading on the subject, check out Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 through 35. 
And now, Father, we come to you on this Sunday morning, and we're grateful for it, for the gift of life itself, for the opportunities that the day brings. This is the Lord's day. Help us as we worship you, Father, and may you be pleased with all of it. Move in power and in obvious ways through your spirit. We pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Sunday edition of Cafe Devo. Hey, thanks for spending a few minutes with me. Before I go, I want to remind all of you that First Congregational Church gathers for worship this morning at 10 a.m. We invite and encourage all of you to come join us in person right here at the point of Saginaw and Washtenaw. However, if you can't join us in person, come join us right here on Facebook or through Zoom, through our live stream. We invite you to connect with us that way if physical attendance is simply impossible. Hope you can join us. Hope you spend some time in worshiping today. For now, this is Pastor Steve Wood signing off. God bless you all, and I'll see you tomorrow. by the way, the answer to that question I asked at the beginning of this episode, it's the third room. Lions that have not eaten in three years would be dead.